Hi students, we are talking about mergers and acquisitions and because we are concerned with human resource issues in the international context, so we are concerned about how uh, human resource issues and human resource management takes place in mergers and acquisitions. You would remember that we have define mergers and acquisitions as uh, two different processes and in that you have intra-merger HR challenges in mergers and intra-acquisition HR challenges in acquisitions. Basically in merger the two companies come together as equal partners and in acquisition one company completely takes over the other smaller company. Whatever is the case, whether it is merger or it is acquisition, two companies, that means two entities, two organizational cultures, two set of people who have worked separately in a unit previously, they are coming together. Um, so the issue is that of organizational integration. Uh, now, organizational integration has been defined as two aspects of inter integration. One is task integration and the second one is uh, human integration. Uh, task integration is that two companies are working separately. Um, if they come together, they form a new company, they have to integrate the tasks that they were doing, the jobs that they were doing separately, now they will be doing it together. So uh, it is possible that an organization was only selling a particular product, but a multinational comes from outside and then they start production and then sale and distribution of that, uh, of those products which they were already just selling. Uh, so the production which was taking place at somewhere else, now the multinational comes over and starts producing in the country as well. Um, so in that case, the task integration would be integration of the processes of the firm which is, but it is going to be integration of two different type of product, uh, processes. It is also possible that they are going for large scale production, they were producing at smaller scales, uh, but now they are merged together and they are producing, going to be uh, producing at a larger scale, but doing the same thing. In that case, it would be task integration of similar type. Uh, that is task integration, that you have to do the work you have to do now, so you have to perform the tasks in which way and you have to integrate them in which way and you have to integrate them in which way. Uh, now, human integration is another aspect. Human integration is, uh, um, is coming together of two sets of people working in two different organizational cultures, maybe in two different countries. And when they come together, they are supposed to be now working together as one entity. So that means that uh, they are going to be sharing the space, they will be sharing the roles, they will be sharing the leadership. Uh, so, pehle unke jo leader the, ab unke koi aur leaders honge, aapas mein, uh, aapki mixing up hogi, aapke cultures jo hain, unme mixing up hogi. To ye sab cheezein jo hain, ye aspects hain human integration ke. Uh, human integration is uh, uh, particularly in one study, it was defined by uh, five uh, factors. Number one was visibility and continuity of leadership, that the leadership which was already existing in the prior firms, when uh, there human integration, so that leadership ki visibility and its continuity, the new firm ke log hain, wo aapke leaders ko leader mante hain, wo unko uh, nazar aate hain, wo unko visible hote hain, aur wo continue karte hain in leadership roles, that is something which is a aspect of task integration. 
Uh, then communication processes during uh, integration, how communication takes place. Agar language barriers hain, to aap usko kis tarah se overcome karte hain. Aur phir ye ki aapki do, dono companies mein communication style obviously different hoga. To aap un communication styles ko kis tarah se merge karte hain. Ye possible ho sakta hai ki company mein zada emails ke through log communicate karte hain. Dusre mein log um, over Skype or on phone call zada uh, communicate karte hain. To aap ko in sab processes ko communication processes ko integrate karna hai. Then what type of integrating mechanisms are being used? So aap kis tarha se aap apne employees ko unki counseling karte hain, aap unko orientation dete hain, ya aap unko bas kaam pe laga dete hain aur khud hi chhod dete hain ki aapas mein ghul mil jayenge. And then the acquired personnel uh, retained, uh, jo aap जो लोग रहते हैं आपके पास कुछ लोग तो ऑब्वियसली जब मर्जर और एक्विजिशन होते हैं तो बहुत सारे लोग जो हैं वो उनको कंपनी छोड़ के भी जाना पड़ता है लेकिन जो आपके पास रिटेन्ड हैं आपने उनकी मैनेजमेंट किस तरह से करनी है सो एक्वायर्ड पर्सनल रिटेन एंड वॉलेंट्री पर्सनल लॉस दैट पीपल हु वॉलेंटरली उनको नहीं कहा जाता कि आप छोड़ के जाएँ लेकिन चूँकि वो उस नए सेटअप में कंफर्टेबल uh, नहीं होते या उनको कहीं और बेहतर अपॉर्चुनिटी मिल रही होती है तो वो वॉलेंटरली ऑर्गेनाइजेशन uh, को छोड़ के चले जाते हैं तो उसको भी आपने किस तरह से मैनेज करना है और उन पोजीशंस को और उन रोल्स को आपने किस तरह से फिलअप करना है दैट इज़ आल्सो ए एस्पेक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन इंटेग्रेशन ना ह्यूमन इंटेग्रेशन एंड टास्क इंटेग्रेशन द टेक प्लेस इन टू फेजेज टास्क इंटेग्रेशन टेक्स प्लेस एट द फर्स्ट लेवल Uh, जब आप काम इकट्ठे करना शुरू करते हैं तो पहले आप काम को समझने की कोशिश करते हैं और आप काम के बारे में उसको इंटेग्रेट करते हैं तो जब आप इकट्ठे काम करना शुरू करते हैं तो फिर आहिस्ता आहिस्ता आपके कल्चर्स और आपकी कम्युनिकेशन और आपकी ह्यूमन एंटिटीज भी जो हैं वो आपस में मिक्सअप होना शुरू करते हैं ज़ाहिर है जब आप किसी चीज़ के ऊपर काम करना इकट्ठे शुरू करेंगे तो पहले आप काम को समझेंगे काम करना शुरू करेंगे फिर आप ह्यूमन इंटेग्रेशन की तरफ जाएंगे लेकिन जब ह्यूमन इंटेग्रेशन हो जाती है कल्चर्स मैच कर जाते हैं मिक्सअप हो जाते हैं तो उस सिचुएशन में फिर अब मज़ीद टास्क इंटेग्रेशन जो है वो आपको अचीव हो जाती है यानी आप फिर और बेहतर तरीके से काम करना शुरू कर देते हैं सो टास्क इंटेग्रेशन फर्स्ट देन ह्यूमन इंटेग्रेशन देन दैट लीड्स टू सनर्जीज इन टास्क इंटेग्रेशन ना देर आर फोर डिफरेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड कॉम्बिनेशन इन विच दिस इंटेग्रेशन वुड टेक प्लेस देर कुड बी level of task integration high and low and level of human integration high and low now it is possible that a firm starts from both low levels and then it goes towards high level of task integration and moving towards a low level of human integration and then goes for successful acquisition now there could be the other side in which there could be uh, it could move towards high level of human integration but low level of task integration but then it moves towards successful acquisition the ideal path is that human integration and task integration go side by side if one is present for example if there is high task integration and low human integration there will be operational synergies achieved at the expense of employees so aap task to aapne ikatthe karna aapne seekh liya hai aapne task integration kar liya hai lekin human integration nahi hui culture nahi integrate hua so aap employees ke at the cost of the employees unki satisfaction and all those things aap uski cost ke upar jo hai wo synergy achieve kare on the other hand if you have a higher level of human integration एंड लो लेवल ऑफ टास्क इंटेग्रेशन तो ऐसी सिचुएशन में जबकि आपके कल्चर्स भी मिक्सअप हो गए हैं आप उसमें बड़ा घुल मिल के काम बैठे हैं गप शप लगा रहे हैं लेकिन काम नहीं कर रहे तो ऐसी सिचुएशन में आपके सेटिसफाइड एम्प्लॉयज़ हैं बट देर आर नो ऑपरेशनल सिनर्जीज अचीव फॉर ए सक्सेसफुल इंटेग्रेशन देर हैज़ टू बी ए बैलेंस बिटवीन ह्यूमन इंटेग्रेशन एंड टास्क इंटेग्रेशन सो वैन बोथ ऑफ दीज थिंग्स दे हैपन side by side the synergy of merger and acquisition is achieved successfully